Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. What you know and what you don't know about the most famous star in the sky. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. If I asked you right now to name the brightest star in the night sky, what would you say? The North Star? Well, if you did, think again. If you said Sirius, you're right. Don't feel bad, though, because most people think the North Star is the brightest star. Even though there are more than 50 other stars visible to the naked eye, which are even brighter. So why do so many people think the North Star is the brightest star? Well, probably because it's the most famous star, because it's mentioned more often than any other star. Why? Well, its position in the sky is what makes it the most important and thus the most famous star. Let me explain. Okay, we've got our sky set up facing north any night during April between the hours of 8 and 10, your local time, where you'll easily see the four stars which make up the Big Dipper's cup and the three stars which make up its handle. And once you've found the Big Dipper, you can use it to find the North Star. Because all you have to do is take the two stars at the end of the cup, which are called the pointer stars, mentally measure the distance between them, and then shoot an imaginary arrow five and a half times that distance through them, and that arrow will always land smack dab on the North Star. And once you've found it, you will notice that it is indeed not the brightest star in the heavens, and is in fact no brighter than the two pointer stars we use to find it. So why is it so important? Simple. Number one, the North Star is always due north. And number two, wherever you happen to be in the northern hemisphere, it will always be the same number of degrees above the horizon as your latitude above the Earth's equator. So before the invention of the compass, the North Star was extremely important to navigators and explorers to determine not only which direction was north, but exactly how far north of the equator they were, a kind of ancient GPS. You see, wherever you are, you can use the North Star to determine just how far north above the equator you are. How? Well, we measure the distance from the equator to the North Pole in degrees of latitude. The equator is zero degrees, and the North Pole is 90 degrees. We also measure the distance from any flat horizon to overhead in degrees. Zero degrees is at the horizon, 90 degrees is overhead. So if you were at the North Pole tonight, the North Star would appear 90 degrees above the horizon, directly overhead. If you were in London, however, it would appear 52 degrees above the horizon. New York, 40 degrees. Miami, 25 degrees. So to determine how many degrees north you are above the equator, first find the North Star above a flat horizon. Then hold your fist out at arm's length. A fist will measure 10 degrees. So one fist means you're 10 degrees above the equator, and so on. Simple and fabulous. So just remember, if you get lost at night, simply look for the North Star, because it will always be due north. And if it's not, you're either south of the equator or on the wrong planet. Keep looking up! Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.